it's time for doing the hands-on on network load balancer and here you can see there are two instances which are already up and running so if you're someone who is actually following us from the previous videos you already know how we are uh, creating the basic requirement for the load balancers okay if you are here for the first time i would request you to uh, walk through through the previous videos all right so yeah uh, what we have done so far is uh, i'll just show you uh go to the public ip and it's the same thing that we have been doing so far so yeah this is the uh hello world program that we have created hello world script that we have executed which has been acting at the back end and in the security group uh, what we have done is we have added the security group that, that we have attached in the previous one okay so let us uh, do a demonstration for load balancer specifically the network load balancer so i'll go here and then uh, i'll create a new load balancer so we already covered application load balancer in the previous one so this time we are going to look into network load balancer. So let me write the name of the load balancer. And LB, okay. Internet phasing, IPv4, VPC would be the same. And here the availability zone. And let me select all the availability zone that it is offering us. And the security group. So here we have NLB security group. And if you want to check what actually NLB security group uh, is there to bring us on a plate. So yeah, uh, let me go to security groups here. And uh, when I go to NLB security group, you can see the inbound rule uh, is allowing the HTTP traffic from everywhere. Okay, 0.0.0.0. .0 All right, let us get back and let me scroll down. Here it is listening to port number 80. And here we need to define the target group. So yeah, let us create the target group for our instances. And here, let me scroll down and write the name as uh network load balancer and lb target group okay and let us go with the default option and leave it as is okay you already have okay so what i'll do i'll just change uh, load balancer name network load balancer okay okay great and then we'll include both the instances as include as pending for port number 80 in create target group okay target group is created and our instances are been registered over here okay that's good now let us go back to the load balancer let me do a refresh and the uh, uh, new network load balancer that is the target group has been present over here let us leave all the thing as is and click, click on create load balancer okay now let us wait for some time until it is getting provision uh, and let us wait for it for being active once it is done we will just copy the dns and then we are going to see on the browser whether it is working fine or not in application in node uh, network load balancer all right so yeah let us wait for it it's 8 10 now and let us see uh, how much time does it takes
all right now you can see the status is active and it's 8 13 it actually took three minutes let me copy the dns and let us check whether it is working or not okay okay it is still loading All right, let me go back and check what we are missing here. Okay, uh, load balancer, security group, network security group. Okay, here we have port number 80 as uh, available to all of them. Okay, now when I go to EC2 instance, running instance, okay. When I click over here and security, security group attached to it says launch wizard 5. Okay, let me click on edit in bound rule and let me select the security group that has been attached to this one NLB SG. Okay, and here the SG is NLB SG. Okay, all right, done. NLB SG is done. HTTP. Okay, okay, great. And this should be anywhere IPv4 and uh, or else it should be custom. Let me define it custom. Save. Let me delete it. HTTP um, this would be an LPSG save done okay so when I go back so basically we didn't add the correct security group and now as you see uh, the network load balancer is now up and running right so yeah that was all about the demonstration for network load balancer and see you in the next one